Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. It is Friday, August 19th today. I hope you're doing well. Had a good week. Got your books on Wednesday. There were some good ones that came out this week uh, for sure. I'll touch on those. I'm going to show some of the ones I got just because there were some really good ones. Um, uh, and then I'll get into what I'm looking at this week and a few books coming down the road that uh, look pretty interesting. I'll touch on those too. I uh, just want to say you're all awesome, and uh, before I get going though, I just want to touch real quick, and as is typical in the day we are now, you got to be careful for scammers, so um, I just want to make it really clear, I am only on YouTube, I do these videos on YouTube, as you all know, if you're watching this, and I'm on Instagram, that's it, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Telegram, I'm not on uh, any other platforms, um, and the reason I say that, I'm sure you're all well aware, somebody uh, put a bunch of comments on everybody, replied to everybody's comments saying, hey, join Jim Comics on Telegram. Well, that ain't me. So, again, I am only on YouTube, on this, and on Instagram. And I'm, you'll see an image of my Instagram page up there. I am Jim Comics. That's it. I'm not Jim underscore comics. I'm not Jim's comics. I'm not Jimmy's comics. It's just Jim Comics, and that's it. So if you get a message from somebody saying, hey, click on this link, come over here, and I'll do what, you know, come see what I got or whatever, uh, that's not me. I don't sell books. I don't have an eBay store. I don't have a, you know, a store that you can, a brick-and-mortar store. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. So if anybody's trying to sell you anything or telling you you won something that you didn't hear about in the video, it's not me, folks. I just want to make that real clear. YouTube and Instagram, that's all I'm on. So, anyways, just want to get that out there because the scammers are, you got to be careful nowadays. Don't be giving anybody any personal information or sending them money or any of that kind of stuff. So, there you go. Um, so, I want to talk on uh, uh, what I picked up this week real quick because uh, there were some good books. I got my Mandalorian number two. I just grabbed cover A. Uh, first full Grogu in comics. Had to get that. Um, I got a couple copies of my Edge of Spider-Verse number two. First appearance, pretty much all these. Uh, I did grab a couple um, Amazing Spider-Man, the uh, annuals, because the facsimile, I should say. Uh, $7.99 cover price. Wow, that was... <laughs> I, was I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be $4.99 or whatever. Yeah, seven, well, whatever. Anyway, but the one thing I'm nice is the corners of mine are in pretty good shape. But a lot of times you get these, um, this is a bigger, little thicker book. The corners are popped. I've seen a lot of images of people's and the corners are popped, but mine are pretty good. I was happy about that. So really glad I got that one. I'm trying to get all these facts, and I mentioned this before, I'm trying to get all these facsimiles of the um, the bigger books, even though I've got this one great. I showed in the last video. Uh, they're just, I want to be able to put them up on the wall and not worry about the sunlight damaging them. So, uh, and there's something something nice about having those up on the wall boy they look good i did get a copy of my uh, that frank miller presents uh ash can number one i read through it it's pretty good actually and uh, i mean i love frank miller i've been buying his stuff since well since his daredevil days even back when he did um spectacular spider-man he did daredevil there too hope you got that i know there was i initially when i did my video last week i thought they were sending you know i thought each store would get 10 20 copies so i and i really thought it was going to be a dollar but shortly after I did my video, I had a lot of people uh, message me and say, hey, I think only two copies per store. And that, sure enough, that's what it was. My owner, store owner that I, or the store that I go to, the owner kept one. And then um, I messaged them last week and, and asked if I could get the other one. And I did. So I was really happy with that. And then, of course, I got my, um, my two copies of Star Wars 26 cover A. A uh, bunch of first appearances in that one. Uh, whether or not they're going to go anywhere, who knows. But, man, when you get that many in one book. And what's really interesting to me is you, you have Kira's um, nephew, uh, John, show up in here with his wife, Beverly, and their two kids. And it sounds like Kira's got some plans for those characters. So they, out of all the characters, to me, those are the ones that uh, I'm going to be paying attention to because I, I kind of think that they have some future. So... We'll see, but anyways, that's um, that's what I picked up this week. Oh, and and Wontable well, Stars Twenty Six. There is a second print coming out for that. And image, you'll see an image on the screen. It's a black cover, same image and everything, just black instead of blue. That comes out. Uh, the or sorry, I don't. Uh, that'll be out in September. The FOC is August 29th, So uh, get that ordered up in the next week or pre-ordered if you want it. 
uh, most shops, a lot of, nowadays most shops are bringing in the second prints, uh, but some aren't. So if you want it, make sure you talk to them about that. I'll get into some more second prints and stuff end of the video because uh, there's some other good stuff coming too. Uh, not a huge week for me this week, but there are some good books out there. Uh, from Dark Horse, we've got Star Wars Hyperspace Stories. Number one is out this week. Looking forward to this one. There's only two covers, which is kind of nice because you, know, you don't have to chase down a whole bunch of covers. Uh, I'm only getting cover A, but uh, that is one I'm getting for sure because you never know. It's only, from what I understand, if I remember right, it's 12 issues in this, um, in this uh, volume, so we'll see how it goes. That's it from Dark Horse. From DC, you got a couple from them. Um, um, the White Knight Presents Red Hood number two is out. Three covers for that. Again, I'm only getting cover A. But uh, I've said it a million times. I really like Sean Murphy's stuff. Pay attention to it. Because at some point, that's going to be made into a show or movie. Uh, big one for me this week is Detective Comics 27 Facsimile. Uh, I again, I'll never. I don't. Well, I shouldn't say never, but uh, I'm still going to find that um, encyclopedia set at a garage sale. I'm going to garage sale tomorrow, and, and if I find one, I'll do a video on it. <laughs> but I really, well, I want to find Amazing Fantasy 15 stuffed inside an encyclopedia at the bottom of a of a dusty old box. That's my dream. But hey, you never know. <laughs> Maybe I'm Action Comics number one. But uh, anyways, Detective Comics 27. Facsimile is out this week, going to look great up on the wall, along with my uh, a lot of my other you know key books that I've got, the facsimiles. So that one's going to look good. Uh, and I know there have been, like uh, Loot Crate had a copy, um, it was in a poly bag with a COA kind of thing. That, I can't remember when that came out, I think it was early 2000s or mid 2000s, something like that. But So it has been done before, uh, and, I'm, and that's partly why I got my uh, X-Men... Uh, or Amazing Adventures featuring X-Men. I mean, over the years, they do reprint these things, but I really like getting an actual facsimile of it, even though that Loot Crate one, from what I understand, I think it was a facsimile as well. But uh, I don't have that one, so I'm definitely getting this 27. Um, that's it from DC. From Marvel, i got Miles Morales 41. Uh, two covers for that one. And I kind of like the last line. It says, what does the future hold for Billy Morales? So I don't know. Does she get killed off? Does she come through to... Um, you know, miles with miles to the back to the the main universe. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but uh, gonna pick that one up. That's it for books this week, folks. That's that's all I got. There's one cover I want to talk about. Um, it's not a book I'm picking up, but I really like the cover. It's uh, end after end number one. It's a Jason's Sean Alexander cover. It's a, man, that's a cool looking cover. He did a lot of the artwork for Spawn for a while there, but uh, um, <clears throat> I really like that cover. It's just really cool looking. Um, so my picks this week, I, you know, there's not a, well, I don't have very many books, but uh, I'm going with Star Wars Hyperspace Stories number one. Definitely picking that up. Um, Black, or sorry, The Batman White Knight Presents Red Hood number two. Picking that up for sure. And Detective Comics 27 Facsimile. Those are my three picks. I mean, there's not a huge amount. Miles Morales to me is kind of a, I'm going to flip through it or, or, you know, see what's going on with it, but... Um, may or may not get that one but uh yeah that's that's all i'm getting this week <laughs> i mentioned the uh star wars 26 second print foc is august 29th if you want that make sure you get it there's also a mandalorian number two second print um it's kind of a photo grogu cover it's a nice looking cover i'm gonna try and get that one i don't know when the foc is i would assume it's um uh probably august 29th as well but talk to your shop don't wait around on that if you want it to uh, get on that pretty quick. Avengers Forever number 11. I saw that uh, Absolute Venom posted something about this uh, on Instagram yesterday. And, I, man, I love the cover. And that looks so cool. And the interesting thing, I mean, all these, I don't, I'm not buying this whole Avengers Forever series. I am buying a few of them, uh, kind of the ones that interest me. But uh, this one sounds interesting because you got Robbie Reyes, Reyes becomes um, like an all-powerful all-rider in this one. So I'm going to definitely get that one. That sounds kind of cool because at some point down the road, you never know what happens with those. I don't, sorry, I forgot to write down when that came out. That's going to be later. Uh, you got a bit of time to order that, but if that's something you're interested in, it's, I mean, it's a wicked cover too. Man, that's a gorgeous cover. Uh, there's all, last one I want to talk about is Yoda number one is coming out in uh, November. And there's a really nice Carrie Andrews cover uh, with Yoda on there and a snake and all that kind of stuff. It just looks really, really cool. Uh, that one is something I want to order up because that looks 
awesome. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a light week this week, which is nice because I, uh, I bought a lot of books last week. <laughs> And I was flipping, I don't have all my comics here, so I'm trying to, I'm digging through books. I was looking for a book, and I, I came across this X-Men Adventures, uh, so I grabbed that one out. Uh, and surprisingly, that came out in 1979. I didn't realize it was that long ago that uh, I bought that book. <laughs> I kept it in pretty good shape, obviously. And the funny thing is, that's, um, uh, I think that's the, f I don't know if it's the first reprint of X-Men number one. It probably isn't, but... Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I'm, I'm glad I kept the, my books in good shape. Obviously, uh, with She-Hulk coming out on Disney Plus, I had to. Uh, I've got the. I've got the. You know, the first. I got multiples of this one. Savage She-Hulk. Used to find these. Funny thing is, these used to be in the. These used to be in the dollar bin. I passed by so many of those for years. They were just in the dollar stacks of them in the dollar bin, and now they're pretty pricey books. Funny how that goes. Um, it reminds me, sorry, I'm, go, I'm going way off topic here, but it reminds me of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 797, first, I think 797, ah, oh, jeez, I should, I gotta write, uh, I think that's the first full Red Goblin. There's a ton of those out there. At some point, Red Goblin's gonna, um, something's gonna hit with him, and, and that's, uh, I don't know, it'll be, it'll be a pricey book, but it'll be worth more to cover anyways. I really like these uh, purple covers they have for the Sensational She-Hulk. They're really nice. And then I also found my Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine number one. Nothing special about it. It's just Wolverine at uh, some point is going to be getting... I mean, he's starting to heat up again now because X-Men eventually will be in the MCU. And, um, you know, I have all I had the whole Wolverine series and that came out. I think that was J. Lee that did that cover, if I remember right. So... Anyways, there you go, folks. Lighter week this week. Some good books out there. Um, be careful. Watch out for the scammers, whether you're it's on my channel or somebody else's channel or Instagram or wherever you are. They're out there. So, uh, But, uh, again, just a friendly reminder. Remember, I'm only on YouTube and Instagram. That's it. So there you go, folks. Take care. Happy hunting. Talk to you later in the week. Bye for now.